Hang on, hang on. Doctor? Doctor? Doctor. Doctor. Doctor? Doctor. Airline. Airline. Gun. Gun. Prep off. Test fire. Dog scared. Dust pop. Dust pop. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here working on the Fleetwood. Uh, we got the hinges, stock hinges, never been repaired in all the years. The original nylon bushings were completely worn out. The insides and the pins were pretty much rotted through and actually two of the pins were completely busted out. So searching for just the sheer length of the pins, knowing that there was enough meat in them to machine them for a bigger diameter pin, I was able to find out that the most common, you know, late 90s, early 2000s Jeep uh, Wranglers have the outside door hinges for the same style as these stock ones. They have the same style, just dual piano style hinge. So in doing so, I was able to get enough pins and do enough machining that with brand new bronze bushings and brand new pins, should see a lot more longevity compared to the 60 year old nylon and shit ton of rusty shit. It's double shit. Everybody's at the record hop, rockin' at the record hop. Here's the man rockin' at the record hop, 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 baby. The baby. Rockin' at the record hop. Here's the man rockin' at the record hop. Here's the baby. Rollin' at the record hop, 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 rockin' and rollin'.
Same answer? Now we're gonna do So now that I got all the metal work done on this, I'm going to go through and probably sandblast all the door jams just to get them cleaned up and get everything out of them. And then uh, I can start body work on this. I picked up some AFS sanding blocks. I don't know if you know what those are, but they're uh, the sanding block with rods in them to adjust the tension on them. So you can either get them so they're really stiff and straight or you can get them so they bend and flex, which would be great for this trunk lid. So, I've used them in the past, but it's a long time ago, and I'm pretty excited to get back into them. Well, it's a sad day. Blew the head gasket in the Cooper. She's done. Toast. 211,000 miles. I'd say that's not too bad. But, anyways... Priced out all the parts with $175 for all the parts, head gasket, valve cover gasket, new bolts, all that good stuff like that. I was supposed to go work on a Suburban today and part that out. If anybody needs parts, I got a 90, it's got a Vortec motor in it, 99 I think, Suburban, four door, actually I think it's a GMC Yukon. It's a short wheelbase. So, Instead of going to do that, I'll, uh, I'm just going to work on these wheels right here since I got lots of sets of wheels to work on and no wheels to drive. Can't get this. Everybody's at the record hop, rockin' at the record hop. Keep in mind, rockin' at the record hop, 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 baby. Baby, baby, baby. Rockin' at the record hop. Keep in mind, rockin' at the record hop. Baby, baby, baby. Rollin' at the record hop, hop, hop. Rockin' and rollin', rollin' and rockin', rockin' and rollin', rollin' and rockin', rockin' and rollin', rollin' and rockin', rockin' and rollin' and rollin' and rockin' by the record Everybody's at the red